today's topic is projectile motion and in projectile motion actually if i ask you a question that when you hit a football do you play football then football moves upward and it travels for forward so it means you did not hit the football to move forward and upward both you hit it in this direction right this is the speed of the football initial direction of motion of the football but football moves forward as well as in the upward direction that makes us to think that yes why football is moving forward and why football is moving in the upward direction and then from this point it is coming back so this is actually called the motion of a body in two dimensions in which the body moves forward as well as backward okay the body moves forward uh, sorry not backward sorry sorry i apologize for that moves upward right or downward so that is called two dimensional motion so in that two dimensional motion actually what are the main areas that either it will be upward and downward as well as forward and forward four so it means if it is upward then body will move forward and it is downward and body will move forward so in both the cases the body is moving forward right is it clear to you there are some areas what we have to discuss and those are with basically those are the areas which i wanted to share with you that if you see that i have just uh, made a projectile path or a path of a projectile for a path of the football so if we have uh, this path so it means that let me draw it separately for you okay to so, draw it yeah it would be somehow a sort of projectile okay so from this point you can say that the upper part is basically the motion of a projectile right is it visible to you do you see that this has, this is the part yes. in which you can say that the object for example if i have a ball and i hit this ball right from here at several positions i will show you that ball is treated just in such a way that it will have two components of motion okay on these all parts and these two components will be having different directions of motion for example for example if i say here i'm going to take two colors for my vertical and uh, horizontal motion so let's say this is that these are actually some some snapshots or some pictures taken by your video camera at different positions of the path of that projectile so what i used to say that is path of the projectile right what is that it is the path of that projectile so when this projectile is having this path it means that we are going to have velocity in several direction so this is the direction of velocity of this projectile at this position but that velocity is actually resolved into two components one component is its horizontal one and the second one is its vertical one so when i talk about the horizontal component horizontal component mean that this is bringing this projectile forward okay this component will remain same throughout remember one thing this is very important to now that this horizontal component never changes under some under circum, some circumstances like when there is no friction because in our syllabus most of the questions are where there is no friction so i'm just starting from the simple concept are from simple uh, simplest situation that we are having this horizontal motion right this is your ux because the projectile has the velocity u in this direction okay this is basically the path of the projectile and actually its velocity will be same along x axis but along y axis as i told you that its velocity would be the changing changing mean uh, are you there 
Yes, I'm here. Okay. So the velocity of the projectile on all these paths is something like that. Okay. So here is its velocity in this direction. In this direction. So you can say that yes, the velocity is basically the direction of projectile along the path which is which it is following. But this is actually its total or entire velocity, our resultant velocity. But when I will draw the direction of um, a, a, a direction of its vertical component, it will oh it will be upward, but perpendicularly upward, is it? So this is the component u y. U y decreases as the projectile moves upward. Okay, and finally it reaches to zero. U y is finished out. That is why the projectile is not gaining any more speed here. Here, the vertical component of the velocity is equals to zero. Right? Are you getting my point? Okay, so if I say that it is Uy1 and if I say it is your Uy2, then according to that debate, Uy2 is less than Uy1. And if I call this as Uy3, Will it be less than u y at position number two? Is it? Yes. And when the projectile moves down, that motion is basically increasing uh, again because it is moving downward. So its velocity is increasing again in the downward direction. When its velocity is increasing again in the downward direction, here its velocity would be same as its. Uh, that position uh, when it was moving in the upward direction check this one but it is minus u y now i will call it v is actually final velocities after that now it is again increasing and finally it reaches back to this component it is basically v y so let me call it v y 3 okay if it is your v y 3 it is your v y 2 and it is your v y one. So can I say that v y is increasing again? That means that v y two is greater than v y one. And here it is greater than v y two. So it is simple to understand that when the projectile is moving upward, I mean this is the half of the part, half part, right? This all is the upward motion. This half is upward motion. Okay. And this half is downward motion. Okay. Is it clear to all? Yes. So in upward motion, <laughs> vertical component, velocity, vertical component, vertical velocity, I will call it vertical velocity. Vertical velocity decreases. To zero right and for downward motion vertical velocity increases to maximum vertical velocity increases right this sign is for increase don't get it mixed with direction increases right so if I say that along x-axis the horizon what about the horizontal component of the velocity Horizontal component of velocity will remains unchanged. Horizontal component of velocity is unchanged. Okay? That is unchanged. So when it is unchanged, actually, I can say that is why whatever that was, ux, it is same as vx okay so just keeping all these points in your mind go back to this point go back to that diagram in which i have written a lot of stuff upward motion and downward motion is simply like this check this one out if i say that for upward and downward motion this is actually vertical vertical motion so vertically it is sad that vertical motion means 
rotor is moving, a ball is moving up and down, regardless of the forward motion. If I eliminate the forward component, what does it mean? Ball will move up and then it will come down, na? Is it? Yep. Okay. So just see through this diagram that V Y is positive while moving upward, V Y is negative while moving downward, and then I have shown this all the, here. Here, just see this description that it decreases to zero and then again i have shown that it is increases to the maximum value right it is increases to a maximum number go back when i resolve the velocity at the starting point this is this is actually this point just i have zoomed it in right so here the velocity zoomed in into some parts vectors so velocity this is its initial velocity u and that is resolved into two components u uh, ux and uy what is ux actually ux is its cause i mean horizontal component and what is uy uy is its vertical component so i can simply say that one of them is uy which is your u sine theta and this is actually its uy uh, sorry, sorry. It is ux, and that is u cos theta. As I told you, when you will, uh, when the body hits the ground again, this is the landing position. That is the launching position. This is actually the launching position of the projectile, and that is the landing position. So, at landing position, check. The vertical component of the velocity is downward. It means that it is having negative direction. So simply speaking, if I have considered it, it is the same thing. U y is equals to, uh, sorry, V y is equals to V sine theta. That is equals to V sine theta. And that is V cos theta. So as I told you, that at la landing and launching along x-axis, this all will happen along x-axis it has non-accelerated motion very very important this sentence it has non-accelerated motion okay so when we say that it has non-accelerated motion actually it means it must travel with a constant velocity right it must travel with constant velocity if you are agreed to accept this statement it means that you must understand that u x is equals to u y so u cos theta is same as v cos theta no problem so equation of constant velocities are used what do we do we use the equation for constant velocity so please remember constant velocity so when when, when the when, when you're um when the motion of the body is constant or when 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 have we have a constant motion what does it mean that what which equations will be used we will only use s is equals to vt or v is equals to your u cos theta or v cos theta into t so it does not matter simple equation for you uh, for x axis is vt cos theta or v cos theta into t go back to vertical vertical has uh, a lot of problems and we have to discuss this in detail in along vertical motion what is the problem the problem is when we uh, have this uh, vertical motion along x axis there is free fall and in free fall the upward motion as i told you uy it is your initial speed or initial velocity rather it is your initial velocity that is uy decreased to zero what happens uy decreased to zero at the highest point so that was uh, that is the position or uh, that is basically the graph what i have shown to you there okay so as it decreases to zero it means the body has deceleration is it all the motion is decelerated motion so when the motion is decelerated it means that we can have the value of g taken as negative although it is i mean it is deceleration 
right it is deceleration that is why it is taken as negative any confusion okay. and mm -hmm. if i say that it is uh, a sort of uh, negative so negative means it is due to deceleration but by due to vector nature it will take carry a positive sign okay now when it is moving downwards downward it is accelerating what is that downward it is accelerating because the initial velocity of the ball is zero what is the initial velocity it is zero but final velocity when it hits the ground it is maximum this is what this is the uh, vector diagram which will help you out to understand the concept of velocity that the velocity is zero at the initial position and it is maximum at the highest position that is why what is happening that it is accelerating i can simply say that downward it is accelerating but why i am using negative sign then because of its vector nature because of its vector nature because it has uh, or it is moving in opposite direction that is why it carries negative sign is there any confusion in that one so in projectile motion one question you have to make very clear that is a question which is asked to the student and the students are trapped in it at the maximum height Oh, sorry the acceleration of the projectile motion is always minus 9.8 i am writing this with all assurance that the acceleration g is equals to minus 9.8 meter per second square for all times during projectile motion right times during projectile motion at all points you can say for all points rather in rather writing time for all points this is just vertical Ac horizontal acceleration zero i have mentioned that that what will be the horizontal acceleration horizontal acceleration will be zero but this is the vertical acceleration which will be 9.8 so you have to keep this point in your mind for your questions this is important okay so there are several discussions from projectile motion the question is asked in different ways that the maximum height time to reach to the maximum height time of flight by using the equation of uh, motion these all actually we have to go to that point that how to handle this all and here uh, there are some sort of techniques what i have used and there are some questions what i have asked in from this from this actually this is a part of a question okay so don't get confused by seeing so many lines and paths and don't consider that this is the map of a projectile actually this is just a question a projectile is launched from point p it reaches to a maximum height h and lands back to point q okay this is that projectile what we have drawn here today that is the projectile this is that projectile okay so i'm just making this convenient for you to copy it and then paste it here is that motion okay so just consider it in a big or zoomed setup so if you say that this is what all we have discussed so just consider two points if i say uh, should i erase these all extra points because i have just considered it yes for you to explain the word uh, mean velocities here i'm going to tell you that how to handle all the values what are being asked to us okay 
Now, is it fine? One is left, but I cannot touch it because it would be erased all. So this is that product path of the projectile motion. So this was the vertical component of the velocity here, u, y, and I just I'm making a simple assumption that this is the ground and the projectile is launched on the ground, the grass, okay, here, this way. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Okay, so the angle at which projectile is being launched, that angles, angle is, let's say, that is 48 degrees, suppose. I'm just solving this all for you. Suppose it is 48 degree. Okay. Uh, if you have calculator, let me let's make it 45 rather than 48. It is what it is your 45 degree. Now calculate ux. Ux. What will be ux? Cos yes, u x will be basically u cos 45. Oh, yes. So just starting from the easy way, suppose the projectile is launched at a speed of 12 meter per second. Then I will just say it is 12 cos 45. So you have to keep your calculator ready if you have it. If not, then it's let me now. So 8.5. Yes, so ux is 8.5 meters per second. And what about uy? Yes, that is your u sine 45. This way. So it is your uy, and that is um. u sine 45, and that will be actually. 12 sine 45 so what answer you are getting okay then i have to change the angle because at this angle you will be confused that okay whether i'm using vertical or horizontal so let's say in an, there is another projectile and that projectile is launched at an angle of suppose 40 degree right this is the angle 40 degree okay so i will make this to be changed when I'm going to change it, it will be u x as 12 pause 40, and it will be u y will be equals to 12 sine 40. Yes, in 9.2 meter per second. Good. And what about the next? This one? Okay, 7.7. 7. Okay, I see. 7.7. Seven. So, so you know, 7.7. Seven meter per second so as you notice if the angle is less than 40 less than 45 if the angle is less than 45 then u x is greater than u y is it the ball yeah. will move forward and when angle will be greater than 45 i can put one more angle there and at that situation the u y will be uh, greater than u x i mean now it is clear it makes sense to you Calculate the time taken, time taken to reach the maximum height. Time taken to reach the maximum height. Yes, this is a question. How much time will it take? So if I calculate time taken, so time taken means I know that the horizontal motion is not required. Our horizontal uh, data will not help me out. This is the point from where projectile was launched by a velocity u y and it was 7.7 .7 meter per second and here that projectile is at rest so it means oh, yes. it's v y is equals to zero and then it comes down so i can use any one of the part for my calculations and if i say that here its acceleration was equals to minus nine point eight meter per second then can i use time or can i calculate time time is equals to v y minus u y divided by 
जी और ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन सो टाइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस सेवन पॉइंट सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन पॉइंट एट विद नेगेटिव साइन सो यस व्हाट इज द टाइम ओके सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवेंटी नाइन सेकेंड इज इट यस ओके नाउ व्हेन आई गेट दिस टाइम एक्चुअली राइट आफ्टर दिस आई वुड बी ईगर टू नाउ समथिंग एल्स दैट ओके how much distance this projectile has traveled from the launching pad to the landing position this one this one is basically the distance it is called horizontal distance what do we call it this is the horizontal distance okay mm -hmm. this is your horizontal distance so if you want to write that one it is your horizontal distance how to calculate that actually we have discussed that when there is a horizontal distance uh, along horizontal direction there is no acceleration so if there is no acceleration there is no um, accelerated motion equation used so simply which equation i told you horizontal distance is basically equals to that is your x is equals to vx times and that was you have calculated that was 9.2 times 0.79 so what answer you got yes so that is the distance traveled by this projectile horizontally okay now the issue is if someone asks you that can you please calculate for calculate vertical distance or vertical height for me then what will you do at the maximum height y part is addressed so you need this height this yes height. okay so yeah. i have given you the time i have oh, yeah. given you the uh, initial and velo final velocity i have given you the acceleration so you have two uh, Sir, you vertical height vertical height has two ways to go one is use that equation of motion v y square minus u y square v y square minus u y square so you can say that is 2 into negative 9.81 into this is the height what i want to calculate that is 0 minus that was what that was your uh, you have calculated that's why otherwise i can use directly this value 12 sin 40 right So twelve sine forty is your seven point seven. That's why I'm going to use that one. Just please help me to calculate h three meters. Okay. Now, if I uh, ask you, yes, uh, yeah, should we put like three in the for example, if it's a exam question, should we write three or three point zero? Three point zero. Yes. Uh, Very good question. Three point zero. Three point zero. Okay, is it clear to you? Now, the if someone asks you that what will be the displacement covered by the projectile while moving from point P, sorry, point P to point H, so what will be the displacement? Your displacement is actually the distance from this point to this point. Are you agreed? This is the displacement, right? right so you will calculate oh i made a mistake there oh my god sorry 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 this is the total dis total distance actually this is not the this is not the total distance actually uh, sorry yeah this is not the total distance this is half of the distance why because the time you have taken that time is from point p to point h so till this point so the distance will be from this point to this point this is the distance you have cal calculated actually this is x so complete uh. distance is x plus x yes that was a trick so the total distance is the, uh, i mean total uh, we call it total range 
so total distance horizontal distance is that is total range right total range and that is equals to twice of the x so that is 14.6 meters right is it clear to you so if you are going to calculate the displacement this is the last calculation here for you for today's class displacement yes what is displacement then displacement is displacement is displacement is the distance from this point to this point this point to this point and from this point to this point this is actually the triangle which is formed and when you see this is point p sorry this is point p this is point h and this distance is how much that is your 7.7 .7. that one is your 3.0 and just apply pythagoras this is 7.7 .7 square plus 3.0 square square root yes what will be the answer yes 8.3 so that is the displacement traveled by this projectile. So this was all about projectile motion. So here you go. Everything, it is zoom in. A lot of things are there in the sliders. Perfect for you. You have a lot of lot of data here. Okay, there are some alternative methods here. I ha yeah, I have calculated the distance and everything. Yeah, then I will discuss about this aspect when the object is dropped down. Okay, then I will tell you about the graphs and then your projectile will be over, inshallah. Okay, see you then, inshallah, in my next class. If you have any question, you can ask me.